Hey, what's up guys? Raf5, I'm doing my haul of the month for June 2013. As you can see, well, I, I didn't buy a lot of, I, I bought a good amount of figure this time around, not a lot usually. You may see that this is different from my picture that I'm going to post before this video because I decided to move my menthol card stuff to the side. Just I'll just, I will mention them first and then I'll get to the figures because I was, I didn't want to like try to grab my figure while these are behind them and knock something down. We'll start with the, uh, this is this item. Shotaku Henshin Mass Rider or Common Rider 5s or 555 XO form or XL form, whatever pronounced. This was an exclusive. Back then, this was a pricey figure, but since the SH figure released, this one went down in price. Saw an Ami Ami, couldn't pass it up. I know I got the figure arts one, but at least I, you know, I wanted to complete my Shotaku Henshin 5 wave at least, so now I completed that. I'm going to leave it in the packaging because I, I, you know, I don't need it all open because I already have the, um, uh, the figure arts one. And then I, for, uh, I picked up the wing machine winger for Kamen Rider Wizard. I no, took no pics of it because I'm not gonna display it. I bought it. I do wanted it too, but like as I said, I wasn't sure I was gonna get it or not. But I think about it right again now, then later, in case you know these Kamen Rider bikes usually go up in price a lot. It came with and the base it came with is the or the Tom she standing came with was the Kamen Rider Mass Rider Blades base. They had you had the option to choose either a few several ones. I chose Blade because I like Comrade Blade. And then for Beast, I'm gonna get the one from Five Five Five. Could I was thinking I was gonna get the Wizard one, but you know I I like Blade a lot more, so I got the Blade. And then for this, you got the Honky Tonk Man. Not sure I'm gonna keep it or not. I might trade it, sell it to my brother because he likes the Honky Tonk Man. I would grab him because you know I you know happen to see him there. But it's a good figure. I like the figure a lot. Just uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. But for now, I'll keep a mint on card. Cause my brother, he's a mint on card person. Well, sometimes. Let's get this figure out of the way. <laughs> I didn't buy a lot of American figures this time around. They got well, at least two wrestling figures a month. So I got the uh, WWE Elite Series. What was this? I think 21, maybe 20. Yeah, 21. AJ Lee saw her. At the same time, when I got Honky Tonk Man. Usually, there's only one per case. Happy to see her. Picked her up, of course, because, uh, you know, Gem has all the divas. I do got the basic figure of her, but I like this one, too. This one came out nice for, like, a ring of tire, as you can see. Have her wearing the divas belt because she's divas champion. Cool figure, nonetheless. All right. Let's start with these right here. These are... I'll start with these. This is the sitting pose of Air, Aerial Toa from... Denpa Ano To, no, Denpa Ano To Seishun Otoko. Or I'm just call it Denpa for short because that's a really long ass name. This is Ariel Toa from the anime. If I got to watch the anime, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Finished watching the series, loved it. I really like this character. She was very hilarious. Very innocent in too. Uh, this is the sitting pose version because uh, I want to get some figures and I do want to get the Nendroid, but for now, I Whatever I could get, I could get. Found the, uh, these two on Ami Ami. I'll trade the other one in a bit for a good price because these figures are usually like saw, usually sold out fast because these, you know, these are pretty nice price figures. That was a sitting one. This is a standing one version. As you can see, she's holding a little UFO. And the anime based about a girl who thinks she's an alien or been abducted by aliens this and that. Really nice laid back anime series to watch. I definitely recommend it. One of my favorite ones that I watched recently. But again, this is Ariel Toa, the standing version from Denpan. Again, I'm not going to pronounce that whole name. Oh, almost dropped the other one. Now to the big five. Let's start with SH Figuarts Yami from Too Low Rule Darkness. Was not going to get her at first, but when the pre orders went for Iron Man War Machine, I added her too, because I, I mean, it was a spur of the moment thing. I kind of my I wish I'd have got her later because she's still available. Could have got her when she was on sale, but I did, I'm, not, I'm not regretting now because I really like this figure. I took a lot of pictures with this figure in different poses. She came out really nice. My gripe is that man putting the base on her is a is. I guess they didn't want to do prongs because you know you can see her hair might get in the way. But I think I prefer that than this because it's hard to plug it in there. <laughs> that what she's. <laughs> But yeah, I was able to get in there. You gotta work it in. Boom. 
She come with a nice hair on display based on that's pretty cool. It says Yami on it and it has like little feathers in the, sh in the shape of a heart. I think that's really adorable for the character. Well, though, I'm glad I pre-ordered her. I got the figure. She's really nice. I'm glad I got her. SH Figure Arts Yami from Tula Rule Darkness. Next is that, of course, I, you know, get my Figmas. I got my Figma Super Sonico. Really like how this figure came out. One of the coolest Figmas I picked up this month. Well, I guess last month. Now it's July right now, but whatever. Really nice. Really like this. I uh, haven't tried to put her in her hoodie yet. Gonna try that later on. For now, I'm gonna leave her at this uh, simple pose. We'll put her in a real pose, though. Maybe pose her with her guitar and all that. She comes with a guitar, too. She's uh, basically like a mascot character. Really like this figma. She came out really nice. She even got your little tail right there. <laughs> and this is like her ta tiger hoodie. Tiger hoodie version Super Sonico. Really great figure. Glad I pre ordered her because she is now, she sold out and went up in price. So yeah, I'm glad I did pre order for the price she was. And now to the big three. Let's start off with SH Figure Iron Man 2 War Machine. This figure came out nice. Way better than the Hasbro movie figure. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, well, I'm an import guy, you guys know that. They're both the great figure, but man, this one came out a lot uh, nicer. A lot of, you can put them in so many different poses, come with a lot of accessories, blast effects. People gripe is that these two figures didn't came with figure stands, but I'm okay with that. This, out, you get a lot of them bang for your buck, and this is great. Good thing I got it, I pre ordered them on, uh, pre on uh, import site, because man, on Big Bad Toy Story, they want 75 for War Machine, I believe, and 70 for Iron Man. But I think they're worth those prices though, because they're they're great figures. Now we get to Iron Man. Love this figure. I really like him more than War Machine, because I'm an Iron Man guy. I really like Iron Man. Everyone says the War Machine is the best one out of the two, but I think Iron Man is. Came out really nice. Look at that shiny red, shiny gold. Really came out nice. It really made this figure pop. Came with a lot of great accessories, even for the back to make it like they're fly. You know those back flaps or whatever they call them. This figure came out really nice. I'm glad I pre-ordered both of them. Because, man, I, I don't know if I'll pay for that price they go for. Because I'm cheap when it comes to figures. You know me, guys. Now, last but not least, my favorite pickup. My favorite pickup of the month. One of the figures I regret canceling my pre-order for. This is the Figma. This is Figma Netical. She is from Hayori. Naroko-san, Naroko, Naroko. I'm bad at pronouncing names, guys, just to let you know. But this fig, I regret it because I had a pre-order originally, but canceled because I didn't know about the character. I didn't want to buy a pre-order figure out of the character. And pre-order, you know, she sold out. I finally got to watch the anime, and I love the character. She's adorable. She's hilarious. Regret my One of my regrets for canceling my pre-order for her because she went up in price. It was hard to get her at first because... I rarely saw her in pre-owned section. Finally saw her, bought it for the price. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. But now she's available. Like I see her on Modern Rocket for four thousand yen and prices like that. I guess people already got enough pictures of them. And I'm, even though I could have got it for cheaper, I, I, you know, again, my my peppy, I the most I'll pay for a Figma is sixty dollars. That's the most I'll pay for. Because then you, you know, I'll count the shipping, this and that. Like I'll count the EMS shipping. Let's go with that. But overall, she is a really great figure. Glad I finally got her. Figma Nautical, Nautical from Hayori Nautical San, Nautical San. But yeah, as you guys see that, that's my haul of the month. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the figures I got. The other ones are on my bed right now. But yeah, really, mostly imports because I um, didn't find much figures to buy for the U.S. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. This is Raph. I'm going to head to go-go. Goodbye. And again, man, I love this figure. And this figure. And that figure. This figure. Her figure. All these figures. <laughs> Alright, guys. You guys take care. Raph is Raph 5 again. Going to head to go-go. Goodbye.